This quick video will show you how you can send USDT to your MetaMask wallet on any supported network. The first step that you need to do is to copy your MetaMask deposit address. This deposit address will always be the same regardless of which network you're using on MetaMask. What's more, your address should start with the prefix OX as it is an EVM compatible address. For the next step, you can go to the withdraw page on the centralized exchange where you store your USDT. After pasting your deposit address, some exchanges will automatically match it to any EVM compatible network. On Binance, you are able to send USDT via the BNB Smart Chain, Avalanche, Ethereum and Polygon networks. Meanwhile, on KuCoin, you are only able to send it via the Ethereum and Arbitrum networks. You may also notice that withdrawals via the TRC20 and Solana networks have been disabled for this address. This is because both networks are not EVM compatible. Since there are a few networks you can use to withdraw to this address, here are some factors that you may want to consider. The first will be the withdrawal fees that you need to pay to the exchange. In most cases, withdrawals of USDT via the Ethereum ERC20 network will usually be the most expensive. This is because yes fees on this network are extremely high. You may want to consider withdrawing via the BNB Smart Chain or the Polygon network as both of them have much cheaper withdrawal fees. This will also depend on how you like to use your USDT in your MetaMask wallet. Every network has its own set of DeFi applications which allow you to swap USDT, lend out your funds or stack them in a liquidity pool. If you have a particular debt that you like to use USDT on, I would suggest withdrawing USDT to the networks that that application supports. Let's say that you like to use Aave to lend out your USDT. This application supports multiple networks like Avalanche, Ethereum, Polygon, and Arbitrum. As such, you can choose to use any of these networks to withdraw your USDT to your MetaMask wallet. After selecting the network and confirming the withdrawal, you should now receive USDT in your MetaMask wallet. In the event that you sent it to the wrong network, it is possible for you to bridge your USDT on other networks in your MetaMask wallet. If you need any help with this, do let me know in the comments below. Another thing you may want to take note of is that gas fees are required to process any transaction on that network. This is usually done in the native token of that network. For example, you will need some BNB to process transactions on the BNB Smart Chain and market tokens for the Polygon network. Your USDT tokens may not actually show up in your MetaMask wallet and you can check out my guide here where I show you how you can add them to any network on MetaMask.